Hi everyone, I am Siva Prasad, working as an associate professor in CAC department, Guntur Engineering College. In this class, we are going to discuss about reconstructing software architecture in software architecture and design pattern subject. Reconstructing software architecture. So it is very, very regular process to rebuild or reconstruct the software from the collapsed systems or sometimes to enhance the performance, they need to reconstruct the software. So reconstruction or rebuilding. In the architecture reconstruction, it requires interpretive, interactive and iterative process. It requires interpretive, interactive and iterative process involving many activities. It is not automatic. Reconstruction is not automatic process. So it requires many, many human skills, many technical skills. It requires interpretive. That means you should be able to interpret what it was. Interactive, it should be communicating with other people. And it is a repetitive process. So that's why the reconstruction focus on interpretive, interactive and iterative process. So it requires both reverse engineering experts and architect. Generally the architect is going to construct the required new software. But reverse engineering in the sense, from the output they are trying to expect the input. This is very very important. From the output, you are uh, they are trying to fork, they are trying to find the input. So generally, we have listened this word reconstruction or reverse engineering in post mortem. If any murder was happened, so they are finding whether that person was killed with the help of knife or with the help of gun or with the help of poison like that. If it is with the help of gun. Why is it the shotgun or it is the rifle? From what distance they have shooted? With what gun? With what angle of elevation like that? Everything they are able to reconstruct the scene. That means the thing already happened. But the police people and this clues department is trying to reconstruct the original thing. That means from the output they are estimating the input. So the same technique we are using in the reconstruction of the software. We call it as a reverse engineering. Reverse engineering main purpose is from the output it is trying to estimate the inputs. So there is no pro particular programming language for layered or connect or any other architectural elements. So architectural pattern used in the seldom labeled. The architect constructs are realized in many diverse mechanism. So it uses number of techniques, number of methods. A simple technique or simple method is not available like constructing the software. It is a combination of functions, classes, files, objects and so on. We use number of constructs to reconstruct the software. The system is initially developed. It is a high level design architectural elements are mapped to implement these elements. When we try to reconstruct these elements, we need to apply the reverse of the mapping or inverse of the mapping. Generally in the mapping from the inputs, we are mapping to the outputs. But in the reverse engineering from the outputs, you are trying to mapping the inputs. So from the output, you are estimating the inputs. Coming up with these require architectural insights. It is familiarly reconstruction. We use number of utilities such as grip, sed, oak, parallel, python, and lex, x, like the tools we use. It follows workbench approach. Workbench approach is like a, your IT workshop workbench. It, it contains number of tools. You can add a new tool and we can remove the tool or the, you can combine these tools etc. In the same way because we are unable to perform the work with a single tool. So we are using different combination of the tools. And if you want we add new tools. If you don't want we remove the tools. Sometimes we work with multiple tools at a time. 
so that is called as workbench approach in the same way in the software architecture also no single tool or tool set always adequate to carry out the required work so for this tools tend to be language specific and may encounter many number of languages the artifact we examine a mature mri mri scanner example we can contain software written in 15 languages so this for another thing data extraction tools are imperfect we cannot depend upon only one data extraction tools sometimes the data extraction tools may give false positives that means even the answer is positive negative but it is giving positive so it is false it is called as false positive there is a chance of getting wrong results so instead of depending upon the one tool they are using multiple tools and they are interpreting which information is correct finally the goal of reconstruction is vary it depends upon the situation for what purpose we are reconstructing like that it will enlarge so that's all about a workbench approach next reconstruction activities this is very important in the examination point of view and in the general point of view the activities consists of information extraction database construction view fusion and reconstruction first you consider information extraction the purpose of this activity is to extract information from various sources we may be use olt tools so number of the database management systems you got olt tools so like that we are etl tools extractive transform and load tools etl tools and we call it as etl extractive transform and load tools so generally in the data warehousing and data mining you got across number of data extraction tools next one is data construction after extracting the required data we need to convert all these different types of data into one database maybe in the tags format like that so you call it a standard form of the data one unified format you construct the data next one is you view fusion the view fusion combines information in the database to produce a coherent view of the architecture that means a complete view of the architecture after come getting the complete architecture view of the architecture then going for reconstruction activity the main work of building abstraction and various representation of the data generate and architecture representation takes place so you see this diagram so view extraction lexical parsing profiling etc so we use various tools and techniques to extract the information after extracting you are going to construct the database so the from the database we find the views and fusions then reconstructing your architecture pattern definition and recognition visualizing it is an interactive and iterative process we cannot reconstruct the software within one attempt or within one day it is a continuous process number of times you need to repeat until the end user satisfy with the reconstructed software okay you see the area uh, the people involved in the reconstruction process so it cannot be possible with only one person number of people will be involving in this reconstruction process like architects so software engineers so testers so designers so different level of people different domains of the people involved in this reconstruction process the reconstructors extract the information from the system either manually or with the use of tools just like i said the etl tool sometimes they may be using a manual process to reconstruct the software but the main objective is to extract the data and then build the uh, soft build the uh, to after extracting the data they develop some hypothesis they develop some model so uh, they use the hypothesis reflect the inverse mappings so based upon this hypothesis they postulate one theorem so based upon this extractions they find the what was the input so we call it as hypothesis inverse mapping the source of artifacts designed what are the test engineering inverse mapping and applying them to extract the information and validating the result 
after reconstruction they are not stopping still they are comparing whether it was the matching with the expected input or not so like that they perform this so you may be seeing it in the criminal crime movies now after uh, after murder or after any crime they are trying to reconstruct the software okay like this they need to validate the postulates okay thank you